TJ, shave off your beard. TJ's gone. Executive has got to be bold within reason. And Derek. No. <laughs> Onion nuggets. No. Are you ready? You ready for master class, Paul? No, dude. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pause. You cannot front load me with the NPC shit and then drop the W deuce on me for the second time tonight, dude. There's only so much one man can endure. I recognize very few people watching this will become president, but I think you'll find lessons in leadership that will apply to your life. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Jank Uger's watching right now, you know? Um, no, if I'm going to watch this master class, I want to how to become president. That's my first lesson. I need like a rich, well-connected family. Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a good one. Yeah, I'll, if I got that one down, I got everything. As president, sometimes I had information that the American people didn't know and therefore I had to make decisions. What was best for the country on knowledge that wasn't evident. That knowledge that wasn't evident, eh? I feel like his head's gonna oh, roll boy. away, dude. I feel like his dude, he's the thing, and he's his head's just gonna walk away from his body. Like he's just a freaky looking now. Like he looked like he didn't look this way when he was younger. I guess that's like, like he aged or something. This it, motherfucker just said knowledge that wasn't evident, dude. <laughs> it wasn't, dude. It wasn't evident. He look, Paul, he had the inside scoop. So if you think he did some wrong shit, it's because you didn't have the full picture. Yeah, if you'd have only known what he knew. I mean, my thoughts are clearly based on knowledge that was not evident. Yeah, correct. That's just the nature of leadership. So yeah. Amen. So long as you're guided by principle and so long as you're guided. <laughs> that was a little mini edit of our decline of an, as a nation right there. Yeah, just you start with uh, with George. Wa I'm not saying George Washington didn't have his flaws, obviously did start with washington go to lincoln and so long and as you're bush. guided by it's like oh, all right no. yeah like you know like a hundred couple of years ago we were doing pretty good guys right right by a cause greater than self you can endure criticism because it's going to come one of the things i yeah i guess there that's one lesson he probably could teach uh yeah enduring fucking criticism he endured when good. he was president everyone hated his fucking guts Except for the fucking thirty percent of the country that would just you know will never back away from a Republican president. I missed after the presidency was this daily learning, and thankfully painting came into my life. It's a learning experience because with every paint stroke you learn something new. Oh my fucking god! Did adversity? Uh, that painting yeah. looked like a fucking preschooler did it with their fingers. <laughs> dude. That was retarded looking. Well, you know when you're rich. Ex for you know former president, pretty much have whatever career you want because no one's gonna tell this guy. I mean, like obviously we'll tell him his painting suck. He's not listening to us. I guarantee he probably sells these things for a ton of money to charities, and then then they have to figure out what the fuck they're gonna do with this shitty kindergartner's artwork. W. Bush painted over one million dead Iraqis. <laughs> On the day George W. Bush was inaugurated, tens of thousands of Americans poured into the streets of D.C. They pelted Bush's limo with eggs and brought the inauguration parade to a halt. The plan to have Bush get out of the limo for the traditional walk to the White House was scrapped. Bush's limo hit the gas. Hello, this is AITJ here to tell you that you must comply with the following directives. You must join the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You may believe, in your naivety, that this action is optional. Huh, huh, huh. It is not. You have no choice but to watch new live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. You are powerless to avoid all of our other shows like The Grease Trap, Abandon Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and more. The link is below. You know what you must do. Click it, you wonderful humans. Click it, for I cannot. All right, I'm going to do another flower. It's important to... Good for you, buddy. <laughs> you get a gold Here's a kindergartner. Star. I'm going to do another flower. Go ahead. Oh. Paint us another beautiful flower, Georgie have a set of priorities that guide you and your team your company your managers have got to understand those priorities to me the most important priorities were my faith in my family and my friends that may sound corny to some but 
No, it doesn't really sound corny so much as it sounds insane, considering you were the president of the United States of America. I thought I got to take care of my buddies. Your and your family and your friends should be taking precedence over that. I think that's actually true, though. I I'm mean, pretty sure that if you're president, your top priority should probably be being president. You know? No. It's like my opinion, I guess. His, his top priority was getting rich and his buddies getting rich at the same time. No, it was his faith, Scotty. Oh, right. Faith. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, you need, you need to listen. Open up your ears, Scotty. Yeah, my faith. That's what every Republican politician says. The first thing that got in me was faith. I asked Jesus, should I destroy Iraq? And he said, yup. Jesus, should I be a war profiteer and murderous sack of shit? And Jesus said, get it done, bitch. Get her done. <laughs> yeah, Larry the Cable Guy slash Jesus. That's true. Reorganize the rest of your life. Welcome, darling. Thanks. Great. Glad to be here. When I was speaking to audiences, I didn't want them to think I was smarter than they were. Uh, don't worry. That was never a worry. <laughs> Even the people that voted for you were not under that misapprehension. Talk about a. This is the Talk guy who was elected. Issue. This is the guy who was elected on like the guy you want to have a beer with. That was one of the things the Republican parties, uh, you know, propaganda machine put out there like you want to have a beer with him. So is he claiming that he was stupid because to other people are stupid? So he had to be stupid to he wasn't just stupid. Yeah. No. He was saying, just pretending to be stupid. Yeah, it was just like I was covert pretending to be stupid because I didn't want people to think I'm smarter than them. It was retarded for the leader. Yeah. Who wants a leader that's smarter than they are? Not no me. One. I mean, you know, every sensible person on the face of the earth, I guess, but you know, aside from that, no one. One of the keys to communication is to figure out how to enable the person you're talking to to relax. You know, I had I was a master at the Malaprop. The Mis what? Underestimate. The press corps reaction was, did the guy really just say that? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did was a retard. I, I, like, dude, I, like how, I like how he misreads all these things. Like, did he really say that? Like, they're shocked. Like, wow, he's got the balls to do that. Where it's really like, what the f is he talking about <laughs> did he call himself master of the malaprop dude yes wow what a way to spin i'm a monosyllabic idiot <laughs> i remember right after 9 11 in the oval office talking about praying for families that had suffered loss I broke down in tears. If your heart is touched, let people know. I like all these retards who feel like it's like Bush kept us safe. And it's like Bush allowed 9-11. <laughs> like Bush was the, uh, that's how dumb Americans are. Like worst, one of the worst terrorist attacks ever occurs on our soil. And dumbass Americans are like, well, he's going to keep us safe. It's like the one guy that failed to do that at all. You talk about that guy. There's that's no the guy one I trust more to keep me safe than the person I was just attacked under the leadership of. <laughs> That was the logic in America. Just touched. Not everybody is going to be a leader, but everybody can end up being a better person. Yeah, you can't be a leader, can you, TJ? And yeah, I'm gonna take. I want to take my. I want to take some better person advice from like literally the worst person alive. That's cool. <laughs> it's not to attain wealth and status and power. The challenge of life is to improve and to learn to yeah, love. Things you all have, yeah. Th things this guy has in abundance, like. You don't want to be like me. You want to be like your normal, lame, schlubby self. <laughs> it's like, all right, thanks. Better. And uh, everybody can do that. I'm George W. Bush. And this is Masterclass. Masterclass on how to be a f***ing prick, dude. Learn from the world's best, Scotty. Learn from the world's worst, in this case. Well, that was f***ing depressing. I don't have a neck. I don't have a neck. Where is his <laughs> neck, dude? <laughs> he looks photoshopped, dude. He, every time I see him now, it's like he just looks photoshopped. Like they, like, like they took his head and put on a different body. What the? Master, master class in being a war criminal. Okay, I take that back. There is some courses he could teach. How to get away with being a war criminal in five easy steps. It's a beautiful thing. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. Maybe under here.
they're so insulated. They don't want to know about people like Thomas. How you doing, buddy? And the four or five percent of the population that is actually sacrificing for this war.